Welcome back and today we're talking about Rent a Girlfriend episode 3 So like always, let's just jump into it So episode 3 of Rent a Girlfriend is yet again another great episode Honestly, every time I see another episode of Rent a Girlfriend I fall in love with the characters even more And now that we have Mommy into the mix And she's 100% going after Shizuru's and Kasuya's relationship I'm kind of liking the anime a little bit more Because now that she's like a villain, right? She's like trying to create that chaos in a relationship Don't get me wrong if you ever find a girl like mommy that toxic, stay away, okay? That's my advice from me to you because mommy is absolutely crazy. She will ruin your life. Uh, but this episode, we found out exactly why Kasuya is in so much love with mommy. We find out that whenever they kiss, it was a great moment. They even talked about naming their children by getting like different syllables from their names. I mean, naming their future children. That's something that you don't talk in a relationship for like a very long time. And the fact that they were doing it in about like a month or two or however long their relationship was, to me kind of feels like mommy was definitely, uh, you know, stringing along Kasuya. So she's definitely crazy. I I I'm wondering if this is all that mommy does. She goes out, gets a boyfriend, makes them like fall in love with her to like a crazy level like Kasuya and then dumps them. I mean, she's crazy. Again, stay away from uh, girls like that. Heck, even guys like that because it works both ways. Uh, there's definitely real people that will go around trying to ruin their ex's relationship for whatever ex reason. I mean, people are just crazy. Mommy is one of them. But yeah, we found out that Kasuya is in so much love with her. And in this episode, the swimsuit episode, uh, where we got a little bit of fan service here and there, we see that this is where Kasuya is 100% determined to get Mommy back. Now, to me, that's definitely a bad idea. Please, Kasuya, don't do it. But he's going in, he's trying to shoot his shot, and we see that they're flirting, and we see that mommy's trying to play the victim. She's trying to use like the love that Kasuya has for her against him. She knows that Kasuya would do anything, so she's definitely leading him along, and I'm glad that Shizuru definitely showed up in this episode. I mean, that bathroom scene was funny as heck. When uh, Kasuya's friends came in and saw Shizuru come out of the bathroom, I mean, that whole scene where you know they thought they were doing something in the bathroom, even mommy saying that virgins are going to be virgin. I mean, that, that whole scene was just definitely 100% funny. I was having a good time. I was laughing. Loving all the characters in this anime, honestly. I uh, can't wait to find out more about it. But we definitely have to talk about the end of this episode because stuff went uh, down. We see that mommy is 100% going all in. I mean, whenever that one guy walked up to mommy and tried to like hit on her or talk to her and she kind of looked at him with like those demon eyes that she was 100 percent crazy that's when i knew her only goal right now is to break up shizuru and kasuya no matter what and honestly i'm kind of wondering how far is she willing to go for this right would she be willing to uh go and have you know do the dirty deed with Kasuya, would she would she be willing to do that? I, I wouldn't put a past her. Again, she's crazy, but she went in for the kiss in this episode at the end. I did not think that was going to happen. And this is where I think the anime is going to take a little bit of a turn. Because maybe either Kasuya and Shizuru, right? They're going to find out something about this. Or Shizuru is going to find out that Kasuya kissed her and stuff like that. And she's going to get a little bit jealous. Uh, we see in the bathroom scene that she does not care whenever Kasuya was going to break up with her. She was like, look, I'm just a, a rent a girlfriend. You don't need to do any of this. I really don't care if you get back with her. But I, I, I'm starting to think that eventually she is going to care. And I think starting from next episode on, we're going to see Shizuru kind of falling for Kasuya. And we're going to get that little, you know, love triangle uh, going on. But honestly... Kasuya needs to stay from mommy. Like, he needs to stay away from her. And this whole event that happened at the end with the kiss uh, is definitely going to throw Kasuya like a big, big curveball. And I can't wait to see how he's going to get out of this because he needs to get out of this. He needs to get out of mommy's little toxic little cloud because that girl would ruin his life. But if you've seen this episode, let me know what you thought. And let me remind you, we have a Discord now. So definitely go ahead and join. We talk about anime, watch parties. We definitely have a good time. The link is going to be down there on the description. And on top of that, today I will be streaming that Ghost of Tsushima at 10 p.m. Eastern. 
over on Twitch. The link is going to be down on the description. Definitely stop on by. We can talk about anime, whatever, games. It's just going to be a wonderful time. But go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next episode.